Hi guys, it's Jeff. Uh, this is going to be part 25 of the Mini Art US Armored Tractor 135th scale. Um, I had stuff I was planning on doing yesterday and with a little problem with the tracks. Uh, I got a little sidetracked, but uh, I still wanted to get some things done. So let's go ahead and do today what I had hoped to get done yesterday. Okay, let's go down the bench, all right? Thanks. Okay, guys. Um, I got a lot of pieces kind of subassembled here. Um, here's the blade. I did put the pins in the blade, so that's all set to paint right there. Um, we've got this here. I need to put the mounts for the machine guns in the corners. And there's also a bracket right here for a uh, light that I need to add. Let me move some lights in. I don't know why it is, but I've got to put a... Well, it's this webcam, I guess. It requires an awful lot of light to do a good job. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's look at the parts I've got left to do. Um... Let's see, these are the braces for the radiator. Uh, these two parts here go together and make up the bar that goes between the front and the back. And these are some more of the, uh, well, these are the parts for the um, winch. Now I've got this little part here that I need to glue on one of the, the uh, Let's get this off of here. I just put some white tack on it. Okay. Get that off. I've got to glue this on here, which goes through the window in the cab. Gives me a little bit of, gives you a, it'll go through this little window right here so that the, the operator can control the winch through the through the armor, so we'll have to glue that on. I'll put those two parts together. We've still got some some levers and stuff that will go in here. I need to get that done. Here's some lights, and here are the parts that uh, mount the blade to the front. Here's the floorboards. Okay, there's two of those. Those go with that. These go underneath. Uh, they actually help attach the tracks to the to the dozer. Um, keep those together. Here are the mounts for the machine gun. So we'll put that with that. This is an extra piece here, I think. No, I think this goes part of the transmission I'll have to put on. And then these are all the remainder of the parts for the for the seat the cushions and there's a couple of grab rails and stuff there so those I'll be painting separately and then putting on so that's kind of where we're at the only other parts I've thrown away a lot of sprues um, we've got uh, these right here are the mounts for the machine guns and we have an ammo can with a lid two of those and here's a some uh, ammo belts and then they actually give us four machine guns but they tell us to only use two on this one so there's the machine guns and some more ammo cans here I'm not real sure what these couple of parts are I'll have to see they might not even be used on this variant so these I'll be painting off you know and then adding them later so we're getting right down to it guys there's not a whole lot left to do so let's see what we can do here um let's see this i opened up the holes just a tiny little bit because i wanted to uh, make sure that the putting the part putting this on didn't take the paint off the parts that went through that I might do a little bit of sanding just a little bit and I've got two mounts 
photo etch mounts that go right here for the uh, lights. So I got two lights to go here and then one on the back of this. I haven't cut the clear parts off yet, but that's no big deal. So we've got both the tracks done. Okay, I ended up with one link that was like apparently got carried away and glued it together. I didn't realize it, but anyway, I'll just put that in the bottom so where it's on the flat surface. But those are pretty good shape. I'm pretty happy with those. Then we've got this. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. We can take the seat out, which I'll be painting separately. And then we've got the the uh, um, footrests, the boards to go in, these plates here. But I've got to get these, all these levers and stuff figured out. Okay, so, and the air cleaner can come off. Okay, so, I've got to look at the, I've got to look and see where this goes. I'm not sure. This is, this was just in the box, but it doesn't look like it fits anywhere. Hmm. Let me look at the instructions a little bit. Okay. So here's our machine guns. And we do have uh, cooling jackets and stuff for them. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Is there some of the machine guns having cooling jackets and some have them molded on? Yep, that's it. So we've got molded on and planes that you can add PE to. So anyway, either way, we've got extra machine guns. Okay. Um, and we've got ammo boxes with, with the, the brackets that clip them down. And then we've got two machine guns we're supposed to have. We've got mounts here actually for, for four. But they, they show you to use two. This figure I'm probably not going to use since it's just going to be sitting on the back of the scammel. All right, let's back up here a little bit. I want to look at that transmission real quick because I don't remember that part. Everything in green has been done. What we got going on here? Just a little misswipe with the yellow. <laughs> okay. Doesn't it doesn't look familiar. I'm not sure what that part is. Oh here it is right here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. It goes clear back here. That's where it goes. Okay, somehow I missed that before. So where this, let's go back here. Where this square is right here, that's where that goes. So let's go ahead and get that put on. I didn't recall that. There goes the furnace. around the edge and it'll capillary under. Okay. Alright. And there's a couple of holes there so maybe there's a lever or something that attaches there. Okay. Um, I'm going to let that set for a few minutes. I want to put these these uh, mounts for the where did they go? mounts for the machine guns. Here we go. Just clearing out these little pots. Okay. And they just go in the corners. 
not anything difficult, but something we need to do. Where are my other tweezers? Yeah, we'll use these. Oh, that's the ones I was looking for. Where are my curved ones? Oh, well. Let's see. I've been looking at B-17s. I was watching some of the guys building them online. and Oh, there goes Jordan. Heading in to see what he's, his mama's doing. Or my wife. He's really attached to her. Okay, then we got one in this corner. Whoops, maybe I can do it without the tweezers. Sorry guys, I don't know why I'm working way off the side like that. Push that up a little bit. Okay, and then we got two in these corners. to get away. One more. Trying to get my tweezers in the end there. Okay, that's good. Then we have a bracket and a uh, light to go on the back. Photo etch. There's the bracket. There's the light. It's one of those pedals. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this uh, black CA. Do that. I 
I like the black CA because you can see where it is, but it sure does, it's like stringy. It creates kind of a mess. Okay, this will go here. Make sure. Put it where it goes. Something on there. That's old, this is new. Oh, come on. Sorry, guys. My wife was using the phone. I didn't realize it was turned up. Too late here. Okay, there's that on there. Then we've got a light to put on here. Let me hang on. Let me turn this way down. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, we got a light to put on here. And I haven't cut the the uh, clear part out yet. I won't do that until after after painting. Put just a little glue right there. If I had enough hands, I'd grab my my uh, accelerator. <laughs> this will be fine. The accelerator tends to make things a little more brittle, I think, anyway. Put a little more glue on the bottom. That is really. Let's see here. Okay, that's locked it in. All right. I need to clean up a little bit of the glue on there or the uh CA, but that basically is ready for painting. Okay, so that I'll sit in a box. I'll try and keep all my. Let's see here. Okay, these are the seats and stuff that I need to paint separately, so I'll put that in there. I think I'll. Touch that with a fine sanding sponge. If I can see where I put it, I really need to clean this bench. Here we go. Here we go. I made these holes just a little bit bigger and it left a little bit of a, a ridge around them. Also, while I've got this out, I need to mount some lights on it. This is going to be really fragile. Still got a little bit of a... Clean up there. Let's see. 
really appreciate the input from you guys on the B-17. Several of you had built different ones and gives me a little idea of what to look for. I don't think I'm going to even try and touch it 132nd. That's just too big and too expensive. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what we can do about the lights on this. Um, got a couple brackets and a couple of lights. This is going to be really fragile. Here's the crank that sticks out of the out of the top. I can't even pick it up. That goes down through. I think it's this hole. I think that's how you start the pony motor motors. You crank it up. Here's the exhaust, which I can't add until the hood's in place. So I may make this hole just a little bit bigger so I can take the hood off and on. But right now, the way it is, whoop, and there goes the light again. All right, let me change the lights, and I'll be right back. I got a feeling that the batteries are kind of starting to wear out, as they don't seem to like stay charged quite as long. Be right back. Okay, we're back in business. Jordan's found his little squeak toy. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not. Let me grab some. Where is my tape? I had some used tape. Here we go. I want to just kind of give me a guide to glue these brackets on. Oh, they'll go just right beside this. So try and make a straight line. Kind of halfway in the middle, I think. Gives me a little bit of a indication of where to put them. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so far off camera. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Okay. So I want to put one like right here and right here. Here are the brackets. Now the brackets are, huh, if you can hear Jordan playing his, playing his squeak toy. The brackets are stepped because the this is rounded. So you got to put them on the right way around so that they set level. I don't want to go right up against that tape because I don't want to glue the, glue the tape down. But at least that gives me kind of a an indication. Maybe I ought to put a piece of tape the other way too, just as a as a guide. Try and get everything just about where I want it. Let's see here. It's easier to do this than it is to try and eyeball it when you're doing something with the with the, the uh, photo etch and the CA already done, already on there. Let's see. I think that'll be about right. Uh, gotta put it with the long side. And get it pick it up here okay put it just like right in that corner be where I want to put it okay I think that be about the best I notice this is bent a little bit high Let's Okay, let's see what we can do about gluing these on. Might need a little more. 
Hmm, I can't turn it that way. long side try to put it right let's get that down on the 22 shaking hands mm -mm. come on didn't mean to do that okay I got a little CA on the tape, we'll have to see. Okay. And then let's do the other one real quick. And then we'll get that tape off there and see where we're at. this way get the tweezers to let loose there we go that's a little more like I wanted it okay I imagine the accelerators already worked its way over there let's see what we can do here Yeah, that'll be okay. Just a little bit of uh, sanding and that'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to leave these for now. I'm not going to try and do the lights. Uh, I want to get things cleaned up a little bit first. So we'll set that aside. It's going to take just a few more minutes of work. Okay, so we'll put that. These are the parts for the top. That turned out okay, I think. Just need a little cleanup. So we'll put that in there, and here's the lights. So that's pretty well good to go. There's the air cleaner. That's pretty good to go. These are all those levers. I'm going to have to work on those. Okay, this seat, I've got a couple of pieces to add. Um, where did I put them? Oh. They're in this box over here, I think. Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. This is the back cushion for the for the seat. And this is the the bottom. This is that toolbox that we probably won't be using. And these are the armrests. And the brackets for the armrest, but I've got these two, two uh, little grab a handles to put here. And I haven't really quite a hundred percent cleaned them up, but I've found that it's easier to put them on and let the glue set to where they're nice and firm, and then sand the little nib off. So we're going to give that a try. Okay, there's one. Let 
there's the other almost okay so there's still just a little bit of uh, the uh, where, where was the attachment point on there and I'll clean that up once that dry glue dries really well so let's set that aside we're getting closer here's that winch we need to add a add this handle to the back side of this one okay so we just need to glue it on and leave it alone for a while let's see what we can do here that's what it's supposed to be okay I don't know if I should even try and add any glue it's usually <laughs> that's when it falls off okay then that's pretty much done um, I've got the back parts of the winches they're ready to go so I'll put this with this with them okay what do we got okay these are the little pins that the um, that the uh, blade rotates on one on each side so we need to put those on and then later there's a bracket that goes on the blade that that will uh, keep the blade on so and glue those on okay that's good little pin let put that one on the other one too it's right here Okay, there's that so I'll save these brackets for the blades they go on here okay so let's get on to these let's see these I'm saving these are braces for the radiator that'll all go together this is the piece that goes across the top nothing we can do with that right now um, let me go to the instructions and see about these. Let's see here. So we've got all this stuff here that needs to go on. And a couple of these are actually broken. So we're going to have to see what we can do with them. I just want to make sure that the, the uh, floorboards fit okay. So we've got this, let's see here. Okay, um, there's a piece that's not here. Okay. Okay, where is it? Okay, I got to I got to look for a piece. I'll be right back. It's here somewhere. Thanks guys. Be right back. Okay, I found them. I just had a container that I put an empty container on top of and didn't notice. So anyway, um step 23. Uh I've still got all that to put together. Okay, it's really fiddly little parts. But, uh, I've, hang on a second here. Okay, I've got them all right here. 
Okay. These are part of them here. So let's get these put together. I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see this. Maybe I should just put them together and then show you when they're all done. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is put together. This side has been broken since day one. I don't even know if I still have it. But everything from the pedals down is going to be hidden by these. So you're not ever going to see any of it. So my biggest concern is to make sure that it fits in here and everything that uh, goes through the floorboards will be seen. Or, you know, that fit the floorboards okay. So this actually goes in here. I haven't tried this yet. Very, very interesting. Okay. It looks like that's where it goes. I want to drop some the floorboards in there just to see if they actually clear. There is, is a bit of an indent there on the sides kind of located. Let me see which uh, floorboard goes in where. Make sure we clear everything. Okay. Where are the floorboards? Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff coming through there. Okay, this one is going to go first. And I'm guessing that it's going to go around it. I haven't glued that in yet. I'm just test fitting. So the way I see it, this needs to go way out. I'm going to check real quick and make sure I didn't do something wrong because mm -hmm. that is not looking right. Hang on. No, that's the way it's showing. Hmm, interesting. This should go out about another millimeter or so, and there we go, and go through there, and then that through there like that. They're kind of tipped in. Still not real sure that's the right way it goes. Let me do some more looking. Sorry about this, guys. That is the correct way. Okay. And this will go in behind it. Okay. I'm going to take this off camera and fiddle with it. There's no sense in you guys getting bored to death watching me trying to sort this out. I'll be back shortly. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, I figured it out. There we go. Uh, what I did was I reversed these. They're not spaced straight. They're spaced one offset to the other. And uh, so I had them reversed, which made them too close together. So they fit the floorboards just fine now. Okay, so we've got several more pieces to add. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to be able to do today, but uh, this will be our next piece. This is uh, C107. Okay. Trying to figure out the way it goes. Let's see. There's a square hole for it. And then this 
let's see here let's pull these out again I'm gonna probably be test fitting these a bunch of times make sure that everything clears it come on okay um, there's the square hole so this will go right here okay but I'm not sure just where this is gonna go this is like a throttle I believe oh there's a ever so small locating pin let me double check my paperwork again here see if this it's, it's so hard in the drawings as you can tell I can't tell which way this faces I pretty sure it goes that direction and this goes into a little slot down here Okay, I think I've got it. Let's see here. All right. Let's see, it's got to go like this. And those two go together. I'm sorry, I'm off camera again. I'm still not. See, it's saying the cutout is going to the right side. I guess if it doesn't fit, we'll just take it apart and try again. Barely, barely has an attachment point. Very small. I think. And then there's a square right behind it that shows where that fits. Whoops. Okay, kind of like that. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and put some glue on it. That's in the square. That's about where it's supposed to go. Okay. Now this needs to be rotated a little bit. I think I'm not sure let's just see if it fits if the uh, part goes over it see that's gonna have to be spread out a little bit to go over isn't it ok 
Hey, that looks right. Wow. That is pretty tricky. Okay, um, I'll take a picture of what I've got going so far here, guys, but I'm kind of running short on time. By the time I get this all edited and uploaded, that's going to be running to about what time I like to like to post these things. So we're getting really close. We've got just these few more pieces here. And a couple of little pieces there. It won't take much more. And uh, there's our little controls right there. We'll be able to put this thing to paint. Get it done. Alrighty guys, I'll put a picture up of this and uh, I think that's going to about do it for today. So we'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.